Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create your own retro look in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we are in the color page. I have a clip of a girl right now on the boat and I've applied a quick color correction to it to make it pop. But what I would like to do is to create my own retro effect to it. And lucky enough, there is a great, great effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 that offer you a lot of flexibility and uh, creativity on how to create that in seconds. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a new node. So I'm gonna hit option S, I'm on Mac. And here I'm just gonna go in my effect library and I'm gonna go with analog and the effect is analog damage. We're gonna bring that onto the new node. And here I have my effect. There is a bunch of presets already recorded in that effect. So you can go with early television, black and white. You can go with uh, black and white, but in the 60s, you can go with 60s colors. There is a lot of different options. And as you can see, it's already looking really good and it's pretty nice. Uh, and that just happened in a few seconds. So you can choose from all those different look, security camera, you can do also all VHS. Uh, there is really a lot of options, but the good thing about it is, let's say you want a starting point. You want to start with this one, but then you're not really happy with the overall look of it. You want to make some modification. Right now, it's really, really too overexposed because it's the style of it. So I would like to bring a bit my gain down. I'm gonna go back to my other node. I'm gonna bring the gain down a little bit. So my subject is uh, a bit clearer. And then I'm gonna go back to the effect. I'm gonna quickly dial you through like different possibilities. If you want to add some vignetting, you can add some vignetting. Um, you can uh, add also the broadcast signal and having more noise or less noise, it's really up to you. You can also adjust the color. Do you want something brighter, something dark, darker? Do you want more contrast, less contrast? Uh, you want to have a scan, let's say. That would be nice if you want to keyframe some jittery effect. Um, you know, like if you want to have some, some sort of jittery effect, you can keyframe that and uh, it's really nice. Then you can also, as I said, adjust the scan line, uh, make them, you know, sharper uh, or smoother and having them bigger or smaller. Then you can also adjust the TV construction. Some screen curvature, for example. Um, do you have to have some mask or not? Uh, it's really hard to you. You have so many options. It's really, really easy and nice to understand and easy to use. Here I can have some displacement to have like a bit more of a VHS effect. And that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much how you create your own retro effect in DaVinci Resolve, uh, ranging from VHS, all TV. You can really do everything you want and create a really unique look. You can also combine that with another effect that I'm gonna show you in another video is, let's add a new node here. You can combine that with the film damage. And if you want to have like something that looks really, really retro, you can just Put that on top of it and then adjust maybe a bit the temperature and you have something that looks even more retro with some film damage burn to it and that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna show you how to use the film damage in another videos so let me know if you want to see that in the future thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one bye improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for davinci resolve Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.